Good evening, everybody, on this Monday night, Tuesday morning. This is Open Phone America. Anything you want to talk about, hello. Larry King is all alone late at night in his radio studio. All alone with three and a half million of his closest friends. Atlanta, hello. What do you think about the impact you have on so many people? I try not to think about it. Dallas, hello. What is it that makes Larry run? At 57, he's a one-man media conglomerate. Besides the nationwide radio talk show, there's the call-in TV show on CNN. He writes a column for USA Today. He's written books. Niagara Falls, New York. Hello. I have a funny story and a question. They uh, may call him the king of talk radio now, but he grew up poor in Brooklyn, and his father died when Larry was just 10. You were on welfare for a while. After you well, when my died. father died, we on welfare for a year. New York City bought my first pair of glasses. I have always had a lot of empathy for welfare recipients because I know how ashamed we were to be on it. You'd never ask this question, but what do you make? Oh, I make a lot. A lot of money. Yeah, it's well into seven figures, maybe, yeah. I never thought I'd ever make this. More than I ever dreamed. More than my father made. I make more in three months than my father made in his life. And I get to the Kennedy Center, 48. Now, he's a million miles from the old neighborhood. Home today is an elegant apartment in Virginia overlooking the Potomac. Tommy Lasorda. Yeah, Tommy Nixon. Richard Nixon. And the memories on his wall at home are not the memories of his childhood. These days, he surrounds himself with images of the rich and famous and powerful. Here again, Larry King. San Antonio, hello. What do you get when you play country music backwards? What do you get when you play country music backwards? You get your wife back, you get your kids back, you get the house back, and you get your job back. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it about Larry King that the American people seem to like so much? I'm definitely a regular person. I, I'm not a scholar, I'm not a college graduate. I think, I, I think Hi, people uh, view me as... Every man. Yeah. Now, the guy who grew up poor in Brooklyn goes to a salon in Georgetown every day to get his hair done. They put a little dark spot on where I have the bald spot in the back. Do you see yourself this as a This is star? done just for aesthetics. I, I look how much better I look now than what we were talking before. So, so, so it's not going to your head, so to no, speak. No, I'm not a star. <laughs> I don't regard myself that way. I mean, I'm, I realize that the, the shows are important, but... Uh, I'm still uh, Larry of the neighborhood. Larry of the neighborhood, getting his hands massaged. Larry of the neighborhood. <laughs> in, in, in a place they, w they wouldn't dare call a barber shop, right? <laughs> OK, can you change 100? Sure. Now we go over to Dukes. You know, people come over to me, and they never say Mr. King. They always say Larry. Can I take your autograph for my mom? It's always for Larry. the mom. <laughs> What's her name? Her name is... A hand massage here, an autograph there, and before you know it, it's time for lunch. Hi, Larry, how you doing? At Duke Zebert's hey, in Washington, you? where, as Larry King might hey, say, hey. the elite meet to eat. Hi, Larry. Good to see you. I saw you. I've kept up with you all week. There's a hello for the new U.S. ambassador to the Soviet Union, Robert Strauss. Hi, right, Larry. How are you? Good to see you. There's a no nice Bernard word Goldberg. for a young man, a new reporter who works in TV, Sam somebody or other. In a nation that practically worships celebrity, Larry King has become a celebrity himself because he talks to so many famous people. Welcome to Larry King Live. Tonight, former president Richard Nixon, Lyle Alzado in the fight of his life. You're a legend, though. I mean, you do know that. I You're don't gone. know about legend. I mean, everybody's a legend. They're, they're... Can we lighten up the prompter? And in a world where most people have absolutely no access to stars and politicians and moguls, call-in talk shows, whether they're on radio or TV, give people a kind of power they rarely, if ever, experience. Rockville, Maryland, with Senator Luger and Congressman... And what does that do for the American people? Well, one of the things that would have been not comprehensible to me as a kid would be to uh, talk to a president. Talk to a major film star, impossible, 
a major sports hero. But today, if we could go back 50 years, Babe Ruth would be on this show. Live from Washington, D.C., here again, Larry King. Minneapolis, hello. Hi, Mr. King. Hi. Long time, Kingaholic. This is where Larry King feels safe. It's great to have you back in Minneapolis. Alone Hello. in a radio studio where his fans love him and he's in charge. Outside the studio, life has been messy and chaotic. You've been married how many times? Five. You've been married five times? Yes. Um, financial problems over the years? Yeah, I never handled money well. But bank but there was bankruptcy? I had a bankruptcy in 1978. Bad checks? I had bad checks in the early, what, late 1960s. What is that about? 70. I was living over my head, and the ego ran away with me, and I got carried away with uh, Larry King being famous. Here again, Larry King. Tampa, so what is it, after all these years, that makes Larry run? One of the celebrities who turned Larry King into a celebrity told him the answer was right there, right in front of his face. Betty Davis said to me before she died, I could still see her puffing that cigarette at CNN. She's blowing the cigarette into my face, the smoke. And she says, you know, Larry, we have a mistress. You have a mistress. That camera, this microphone's a mistress. And nobody can top that power of that mistress. And that's absolutely true. This is the Larry King Show in Washington. It's the Very middle of the to... night, and Larry King is at home, in his studio, with three and a half million of his closest friends. I got a corner of the world here. And they're in Denver and Buffalo and Montreal and Honolulu and Miami and New York and Washington. And I'm sitting here, and these lights are lighting, and they're all coming in. Denver, hello. A voice in the night. Dallas, Texas. Voice set. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Hello. 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 Hello.